All right, hey, what's up guys? So I'm currently on another fast and I just wanted to do a quick update. And so I'm on another dry fast and it's been, it's kind of rough in terms of when I actually started the fast because two days ago, today is Friday, on Wednesday night, I ate my last meal. And then yesterday morning at like nine o'clock, I had like a smidgen of water. And at this point, I wasn't necessarily sure if I was gonna do a fast or what because I'm supposed to be going with my family this weekend on a trip. And it's like, I've been not feeling very well lately because I've been eating foods that caused me a lot of problems. And so I, was, I wasn't sure if I was just gonna go into the weekend fasting or not fasting. And so yesterday at 9 a.m., I drank a smidgen of water because I wasn't sure if I was going to go on a fast. And then at about 11 and 11.30, I did two enemas, one with water and one with oregano oil, which I was trying to see if I could kill off some demons, some monsters inside of my colon. And I'm not sure um, how that went. Like I, I haven't been feeling good in general, and it's been hard to say why I haven't been feeling well. Like sometimes I think I eat foods that are antimicrobial, like some coconut oil, but I've also been eating kind of junk food and just more foods that I'm not preparing and I'm buying either at a restaurant or at a store. And so it's been a, a muck of just awful feeling inflamed and depressed and anxious and trip, tripping out like I'm on drugs. And so I honestly, I feel like I've been getting addicted to foods and it's just been super rough. Like I know that I, that eating certain foods causes me, causes me to feel certain ways in terms of just feeling bad because of my concussions and my microbiome and just anxiety and depression and inflammation. And so it's like, I've been feeling bad eating these foods, but it's like, I've been craving these foods. It's like they're, they're luring me in to eat them and they taste super good. But then it's like while I'm eating them, eventually I'm just like, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? But then I stop eating them and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to eat them again. It's like, oh, I miss those tastes of foods. And I'm talking about like Chipotle and vegan pizza, um, not frozen pizza, but from like actual restaurants that are pretty freaking good. Um, and so I've been kind of oscillating back and forth between eating healthy, like, okay, I need to eat clean. And then I eat cleaner. And then I'm like, oh, but this isn't satisfying. And it's hard to get enough calories. Uh, Cause I've been trying to gain some weight, even though that's not necessarily a priority. And so that's just led me to keep doing this fasting thing because I do feel benefits doing fasting. And basically right now, if we're counting the sip of water and the enemas, because I'm not sure if taking in water through your downside, I'm not sure if that counts for an enema, or that is an enema. I'm not sure if that counts for doing a water fast, or what am I talking about? I'm not sure if it counts for doing a dry fast, because you're putting water into your body just from a different different point of entry. Um, but, so if we're not counting that, or if we're counting that as not counting for a dry fast, then technically I've been dry fasting for about 27 hours. And, but if we are allowing that, because I barely had any water and the, I'm not sure if the enema counts, then I've almost been fasting for like 48 hours. I'm at, I would be at the, I would be at about 42 or 43 hours of dry fasting. And I've been doing without brushing my teeth, no water contact, no showering. And oh, actually I have been, I've been, <laughs> I've been wiping water underneath my armpits because I've been getting sweaty and I'm like, I don't want to be smelling. And so I don't know if that counts. So it's, I've had minor water contact in my armpit, but I don't know if I, I am absorbing water through there. But anyways, uh, so I just wanted to talk about how I'm feeling on this and 
Yeah, I, I gotta say that dry fasting is definitely harder than water fasting for me and definitely harder than green juice fasting. Uh, although right now I do feel like I have more strength and energy. Uh, and one thing that always happens is my mood gets a little bit better and I, I'm not as depressed and I'm not as anxious. Although my head does feel kind of weird and I do get Ever since my concussion, my head gets really swollen feeling, like there's just buildup of inflammation, swelling in my brain, and that really sucks. But uh, whenever I do dry fasting or any type of fasting, it sucks for the first few days, and I'm still kind of in that in that threshold of the first few days where it's like you don't really feel that good. But I definitely do notice that I do have strength right now. Like I'm feeling pretty strong, but yeah, it's I just have a lot of inflammation I can tell still. Like my, my neck feels really sore and when I hit my head two years ago, uh, it also was, it resulted in a minor neck injury. And so that has been inflamed and I noticed that my eye movements uh, when I have inflammation it's like my eyes don't move as fluidly. So like if I look from right to left, it's like eh, eh. like it doesn't feel right. It's kind of like I'm tripping out. But yeah, so I basically just wanted to do an update about another dry fast that I'm on. And it it's either 26 hours or 42 hours. Um, and I'm not sure. I'm thinking about breaking it. Uh, and I'm not sure it's like I've been so addicted to the restaurant food and the oil sugar salt combination even though it's been making me feel really bad and it's that's like the main thing that I'm struggling with right now is well not feeling good and feeling just absolutely crushed in terms of physical mental emotional spiritual connectedness like whenever I'm eating foods that are super starchy and processed and oily and just have a lot of carbs that ferment and cause me a lot of um, bad overgrown microbes fermentation then I feel really depressed because it makes me feel physically so disabled because of my brain injuries and so I've been doing this fasting because apparently it helps heal the gut and I do feel benefits uh, from fasting every time I do it. Like if I need to just a boost in mood and a decrease in anxiety, then if I fast, then I do feel benefits in that. And eventually when I'm fasting and my body does feel super light, like a ninja warrior freak, and I always feel super ripped, like my abs will get super shredded, or at least I feel shredded because I'm not as bloated from all the freaking fermentation going on in my gut. And yeah, so those are the benefits that I feel. And right now I'm feeling benefits and negative effects. And so it's not perfect. It's like, and I'm only, I'm only one or two days into it. And I know that when I keep going, then I feel better, except for I haven't gone farther with the dry fasting. And so I haven't, I don't have the experience of going like three, four or five days with dry fasting. I've only gone basically green juice fasting longer than three or four days. And if you haven't seen that video of me doing a seven day green juice fast, which it kind of turned into like a water slash dry fast uh, for seven days, then check out the links in the YouTube card or in the description. But yeah, so I, I don't have a lot of energy. Like I have energy kind of around the house and once I'm moving around I feel okay like I can walk around and whatever and like do push-ups and do like squats and ab workouts and like I feel okay but it's like I don't really have motivation to go outside and do a lot of things because I do feel inflamed and my neck and swollen and my brain is kind of clear but also kind of foggy so it's kind of confusing and I know that the longer I fast the clearer my brain gets but I think I'm going to break it today. So I just wanted to update you guys with another fasting experience. 
and I haven't had any revelations on this one except for I need to I need to really regroup and I I need to be stricter with my diet is that a word stricter I need to be more strict with my diet because I honestly I get into such a dark place when I'm not being strict with my diet that it is very scary and it's like an addictive loop. Like even though I feel more depressed and anxious and physically awful and disabled eating certain foods, it's like addictive and I want to eat them because they taste better and they're more satisfying. But at the same time, it's like, I feel bad, but I want to keep doing it. But I'm like, okay, I need to stop, but I want to eat it. So I eat it and I feel bad. Okay, Then I'm like, okay, I need to stop, but I want to eat that food. It's like a whole loop of addiction. And it's, it's like whenever I think about, like I've been thinking recently about like, okay, I need to eat stricter. And instantly it's like, oh, but that food isn't as like delicious or like satisfying and it's true it's like that food the clean food isn't salty sugary oily deliciousness and and it's harder for me to get in more calories but it's like i need to love myself enough to abstain from just trying to fulfill a taste and it's not only that but it's also like it sucks having to be so strict because I just want to be able to eat normal foods that a lot of people eat and not have issues. And I take probiotics and enzymes with it and it does help. But at the end of the day, it's like I feel better and more optimal when I'm eating super clean. And all, like I, there's so many benefits when I'm eating a lower carb diet, a vegan lower carb diet with like avocados as the base. And then when I switch to higher carb, then my whole brain goes freaking flipping out and I don't remember what I'm doing and I feel worse. And it depends on if it's starch or sugar because I handle sugar better than starch because the starch doesn't digest as good as the sugar because the sugar goes into your bloodstream quicker and doesn't go into your intestines and feed the monsters as much. And so it's like, what the F is going on? <sighs> but yeah, so I just wanted to update update you guys with that. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to break the fast today. If I don't, then I'll probably go into some revelations and feel super clear and motivated to make a video. And then I'll probably make more videos. And I'm going to make more videos ultimately, but it's like, I don't know if I'm going to end the fast or not. And what am I talking about? I'm probably going to end it. This is gibberish. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like it. Uh, if you liked it, leave a dislike if you just you're you're in a weird tunnel of a matrix seventh dimension and there's a bee outside on the flower and those flowers have bloomed and that is pretty pretty nice to look at and I'll show you got some flowers out there and there's bees over there and yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video and I was watching golf because I like golf. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Comment, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about fasting and starch for sugar versus uh, high fat and your gut microbiome and inflammation. And I'm going to stop talking. So bye.